I found the best of both worlds. Their system. My way. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Mark Dark, and I'm back with another video. If you're new, if you love Snowfall, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like the video, and leave your theories, comments, everything down below. Now, tonight, we're going to be talking about Snowfall Season 4, Episode 1. This is the recap. Now, I'm going to try my best to go over all the key facts. If I miss anything, you guys let me know down below. Now, just watch Episode 1. I'm going to watch Episode 2 right after this recap i want to give you guys my full perspective of this episode and then we're going to get to the episode two recap which will be probably airing um probably an hour after this so you guys stay tuned but overall episode one definitely delivered you can feel the tension just from episode one and you know that episode two that's when the fireworks are about to explode in my opinion so let's get to it what did we see in episode one now franklin saint of course he is recovering you can tell that he's still going through some things mentally he's trying to get together right he's trying to bring it all together and you know continue to run this organization now he's at the house reading letters from melody and you guys saw melody in this episode y'all saw how she was looking she's like turned over to a whole new life deep down inside you can still feel that old melody inside her um, we're going to see how that's going to play out later on down in the season um but hopefully things work out but we get to franklin and he goes and he's having a conversation with louis he wants to know exactly what was going on why he was out of commission and you know louis pretty much tells him look things went kind of south i mean a lot of violence happened um but business with teddy was going well wasn't no issues and everything like that with him but this whole gang wars and stuff is bad for business and uh unfortunately it seems like one of scully's boys has been dropped off once again and this is causing issues so franklin decides to go to the funeral and show his respects to scully now what franklin wants to do is he wants to stop a gang war from happening he wants all this to just end he doesn't want this blowing up at all so this is the real reason to me why he wants to show his respects and just to neutralize everything but your boy scully he's like look at the end of the day they gonna get what's coming their way man boy is gonna get what's coming his way um and you saw his sister there khadija aka simone from all american she was there as well and it's gonna be a war it's, i mean plain and simple and you know your boy franklin is trying to stop this he goes to man boy and he's trying to figure out what happened like why did you shoot up scully's dudes and of course man boy is like well they came at me first that's why i came at them and if they come back at me it's going to be a war i'm going to go back at them so franklin understands this he's got to figure out a way to neutralize this and as i told you guys in those prediction videos the man boy versus scully video that i did um, it seems like a lot of that stuff is coming true, especially in this episode and how everything was running, right? Now, Franklin wants to get advice from Teddy. He actually wants Teddy's help, but Teddy is pretty much telling him, pick the less of two evils. So this is why I was talking about in the past that Franklin is pretty much saying, we got to pick between Man Boy and Scully and who is the less of the two evils. So this is the conversation that happens within franklin's organization he's going to take this advice and use it for his strategy i mean this stuff is getting crazy man now we get to of course the reporter arlene now she's trying to figure out exactly all the details of what really happened to melody what happened to franklin what happened to officer Wright. she wants to know everything and she is of course from this neighborhood she wants to go back and get all the details so we want to be seeing her throughout the episode try to get these things together now gustavo and teddy their truck is pulled over we see the drugs drop out and it's all bad news right but we know when we're talking about teddy he's always able to get out of things we, you know and later on in the episode we find out more details about what's going to happen within them and getting pulled over with the truck now franklin does go and have a conversation with leon we come to find out that leon does not want to work with louis he does not want to take orders from her he's tired of driving franklin around pretty much leon just tired of it all of it all right he doesn't want nothing to do with working with franklin and taking 
orders. He feels like he's doing what he has to do. I mean, he was just clapping some girl's cheeks up in the projects. He's cool. As long as he can run his projects, he don't want nothing to do with what Franklin is trying to bring his way. Franklin understands that Leon is going to a whole new path and everything ain't the same no more, man. Um, this relationship is completely different. Circumstances have changed and this is just something new for Franklin. He has to pretty much take all this in. He understands that he's going to have to make some decisions down the line when it comes to Leon and his whole organization on how things are working, right? Then we get to the more details about what's going on with Teddy and Gustavo. Apparently, these officers in Mexico, of course, they want a cut. And pretty much, they're going to have to pay them exactly what they want because they don't really have a choice. This is what was in the description, a pipeline issue. Now, they have to handle this. Gustavo understands we have to pay this man whatever he wants to stop this issue. I'm going to tell you right now, this ain't the last time that you're going to see this officer. And I got a feeling... He's probably going to want entirely too much. And I think your boy Teddy and Gustavo are going to have to take care of business down the line. Now we get to your boy, Booty. Man, boys, dude has been set up. And as he said earlier, if something happened to one of my dudes, it's going to be war. Now, Booty, at least he ended it well. He was getting topped off and then all of a sudden he's getting kidnapped. And it seems like the person that kidnapped him was Chrome Rose. And if you was paying attention early on in the episode, your boy Scully was asking Franklin, how hard was it to keep Jesus on the cross? And he was asking that for a reason. This dude is doing some, some very graphic stuff. I mean, it's so graphic. I can't even show you the full picture. Trust me. I mean, this stuff is crazy, right? They have to realize that this is very serious. This game wars is very serious. Scully wanted to prove a point that he's not to be messed with. And he wants Manboy to understand that he is coming for him and his organization. Now, they have to pick between the two, right? Uncle Jerome is like, look, I ain't messing around with no Scully. This dude is uh, crucifying people. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't trying to get caught up in none of that crazy stuff. Um, But... Aunt Louie is pretty much saying exactly what I said in my predictions video about Man Boy and Scully. That Scully has been loyal no matter what. Yeah, he is crazy. You know what you're going to get out of him though. But with Man Boy, eventually he wants to take over. We know Man Boy wants to take over down the line and that's the problem. So now Franklin has to figure out a game plan. The whole thing with him is this, setting them both up, which could be a high risk he has to set both of them up to take them out of the game. And he, you know, decides to pick Scully. He drops off the guns. Now, he, of course, he wants to help out Scully because he feels like, well, if they get into a, a, you know, a war or a little small exchange, maybe Man Boy and his crew can be dropped off and things can be eased out. He's trying to make Scully believe that he's down. He's told Scully, look, you've been loyal to me, Man Boy. He wants to want, he's going to want to want all the territory, all the power and everything like that. I can't have that. So ride with me. Then we see Simone. I mean, no, Khadija. Um, we see her in man. Every time I see her, I can't stop thinking about all American, but she's down for the cause as well. I mean, she doesn't care if Scully takes down man boy at all. Right. That's what it seems like. But Scully is telling your boy Franklin, if you try to play me, I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take your whole crew down. It's going to be hell to pay if you try to play me. Now, Franklin has to not only, you know, make sure that Scully's good. He has to go to man boy and tell him another lie and pretty much telling him, look, we got to take out Scully. He's too risky. He's too much of a problem. And now man boy is asking those questions as well. Like, how can I trust you? How do I know that you're not setting me up? And of course, Franklin says, look, you don't. But just follow me. Um, it seems like your boy Scully is getting ready for war. So we have to figure this out. Franklin is setting this all up. At the end of the day, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not going to end well. Now, I haven't watched episode two at all yet. But I know just based on watching this episode, it's about to go down. Um, I can't wait to watch episode two, but it's about to be a war. Now, your boy Teddy, he goes to Avi and apparently Avi ain't doing what he promised Teddy. 
and that's to supply these guns and of course Teddy lets them know look I need my weapons or they're going to be problems so now Teddy has to do exactly what he promised him and that is to supply these guns now we get to the spicy part of the episode and this is right after your boy Franklin ran to one of his old flames T and he invites everybody to this party right Gustavo was at the party. This is the fallout, fallout that we saw in those um, early scenes, early trailers that they put out. Your boy, Leon, is upset that Gustavo was there. Of course, he blames him for everything, everything that happened with Kevin. He doesn't believe what Franklin is doing is right, that is disloyal. And, you know, he's pointing a gun at Gustavo. Franklin steps right in between the two. And now he's pointing a gun at Franklin. And then Franklin, of course, tells everybody to leave. He tells Gustavo and Teddy to step out. He has a conversation with Leon. Leon is like, look, I'm done with you. And Franklin's like, all right, fine. You know what I'm saying? Cool. Um, Leon is going to do things his way. Franklin says, look, I'm not supplying you um, at all. Find a new plug. Do what you got to do. So as of right now, the two are not on good terms. It did not end well. We know in episode two, just based off the description that Leon is going to go through some struggles, right? Now, during this conversation, right after it, we saw some mental issues with Franklin. Kind of reminded me of your boy Spencer from All American. He having some mental issues. Um, he's holding his chest. You know, of course, he was shot. But this is getting to him, man. At the end of the day, he did not want this to play out like this. He really wished that Leon would be cool, that he would grow from all of this. But no. It's just not over for him in his mind. And Franklin understands he can't control everything anymore. Now, we get back to Arlene and she wants to get some information out of Melody. She's looking crazy as hell in this picture. But she wants to know more details on what happened to her father, Franklin, and what happened to her. She disappears. She wants to know if she had anything to do with it. What are the details? And of course, Melody is like, look, she didn't do anything. Franklin said he don't know who shot him, which we pretty much predicted that Franklin was not going to snitch at all. I mean, it makes no sense for him to do that. It's not in his code to do that. But during the conversation, we, we can tell Melody, Melody is definitely more holy. But deep down inside, you can see the old Melody burning inside. You can see that old Melody wanting to come out and wanting to speak up. Later on in the season, I think that's going to happen. We're going to see more of Melody. I just don't know how much more we're going to see of her, right? Now, we get to the buildup. These boys are getting ready. The crews are getting together. They're about to go to war. It's about to go down. This is what Franklin Saint has set up. He understands that this is about to be a major move. He goes in and he gets his strap because he feels like he may lose his life. Now, this is just me from my perspective. It seems like Franklin is understanding like, man, I could go tonight. Yes, I'm trying to stop this huge gang war. I don't want this to blow over, but I got to do what I got to do to make sure everything is good. Now, of course, Franklin Fathers comes out. He understands what Franklin's about to do. He sees him take the strap. He understands that something bad may just happen. And, of course, he starts talking about Bruce Lee and stuff like that, about them just staying, you know, Franklin just staying home, watching some movies, old school time. You know what I'm saying? He's trying to bond with his son. He wants to protect his son. You saw the tears come in Franklin's eyes. It was almost a sense of Franklin was feeling like, man, you know what I'm saying? I may just die tonight, Pops. I love you, man. I mean, you, you did what you did. Um, You want to protect me, but I have to go handle business. And Franklin understood this. Um, I'm eager to see what's going to happen in episode two, man. This was a very touching scene to me because in a sense, it was almost like Franklin really did want to stay with his pops. He wanted to kick it and he was reminiscing about the past, him, Leon, and you know the story that his pops was telling him. But Franklin has to go out there and finish what he started. And this is going to be a hell of a journey for him. This is just the beginning, man. Episode one definitely delivered. In in this episode, it really was a buildup for what's to come in episode two. It's about to go down. It's about to get graphic. Um, I'm about to go watch episode two right now and you know get ready for it, man. But you guys let me know, man. What do you think of, of episode one? Leave your theories, predictions, everything down below. And you know, 
we definitely gonna talk y'all i want y'all to stay tuned episode two recap will be dropping probably in about an hour or so i'm about to watch it right now but thank you guys for all the love all the support we back it is snowfall season four it is time once again to get back to it but thank you guys for all the support all the love and i will catch y'all very very soon but let me get on out of here man it's your boy mark dark i'm out peace